Okay, so let's get into the first part here of Seven. Uh, here I just put up, uh, I start off with putting up a base color texture, well I, I'm choosing material here for quite a while. Uh, I find it quite important to find a good material, uh, usually it's just something with a white base. Uh, I just look, I'm just i just looking for something with decent shading and not too much cavity uh, detection. Uh, and it, even if it has too much you can set that in the settings. Uh, I showed you what I ended up choosing uh, before in one of the previous videos so uh, no you know surprise there but uh, it's actually not this one it's uh, yes yeah, this one I choose a beige color and I fill the object with the uh, material and the color. Actually no just with the color uh, for the moment and I am um, you know start actually keeping it like that. Um, you know, nothing too serious for the base that you see me save here. You're going to see me save a lot, and I save in increments, as in the different files every time I save, and that is because if I lose something, or if I say the file gets corrupt, I can always get, go back to my previous save and I don't have to redo anything, every, everything. And that's a major help. So here I just go in with a slightly uh, warmer color than the one I already have on my uh, material, and, you know, color in roughly the, uh, you know, cavities and such, on the model, just to make it sort of, uh, sort of seem warm, sort of seem fleshy. This, this is generally the way I always start my skin textures. Uh, and you just can see, I actually, I'm doing this with a, a color spray brush, with a, uh, with one of those standard Z brush speckly alphas. Uh, you, you should probably be able to find them in your own, um, alpha thing, because they come in default with Z brush. So you can see here, this will keep on going for a while, um, I'm just filling in with this warm color. Eventually, I'm going to change into a slightly warmer color and change uh, select that as well. Uh, so after saving here an excessive amount, apparently. Uh, also, big note: I uh, I save while I whilst I do this. Uh, well, when when I model, I save in uh, low res. I low res the model and then save. Uh, this is because first of all, it saves a lot quicker and it loads a lot quicker. And if you if you always save in high in your high poly, um, things take a long time to load and might also crash and get corrupted easily, more easily and you don't want that, trust me, I've had that several times and you really don't want that. Uh, so as you can see, now I actually choose a um, slightly darker color with the color spray and fill in areas. As you can see, what I do here is I uh, go quite roughly and add quite a bit of color and then I go in and smooth the color. Uh, one thing that people m may not know is that in ZBrush you can, uh, as you may probably know, when you sculpt and you hold, on, hold down shift it turns into a smooth brush which averages out all the detail which is really useful. Uh, but what people don't know is that this actually applies for uh, the color painting, the poly painting as well. It, it also smooths out the color. Uh, if you have R uh, if you have Z add or Z sub off and just RGB on, it actually smooths out the color as well, which is very nice. Here, I think I'm just tweaking the material. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Just going around, now. I'm going in with a white color and getting some um, some small highlights. Uh, what people don't really understand usually is that skin has a lot of color to it. Uh, it has a lot of purples. It has a lot of greens. A lot of blues. Just very subtle. And uh, this model, I go quite extreme on those colors uh, by the end, but uh, that's because I wanted the, ca the kind of, you know, stylized look to him. Uh, but just keep in mind that the co the skin isn't just beige and reddish, it's not. Here I'm going in and adding some bruises, because as you may have seen, the clothing kind of straps around him, and I figured it'd look kind of cool if I bruise him up a little bit. And also this is uh, adding some bit of purple into, the into it, uh, without making it look stupid. And I also have some blues and greens, uh, and here I'm just trying something out, I'm not sure what. Uh, trying to define the rib cage a bit more, maybe the texture, uh, I think I'll remove that later on though, it didn't quite work. Uh, adding some more extreme purples here, Th this will be removed later on, here's just me going ar around very roughly. Uh, and there, I was just checking it uh, with the flat color material on, which just shows you the, your poly paint, which is very useful for checking how you are doing. Also, when you're poly painting, remember to always zoom out of your work and look at the entire thing as a whole. And if you've been working on it for a while and wondering what you should do, uh, go away from the computer or do something else and then go back and look at the model because you'll probably find a ton of mistakes that you missed first uh, first time, basically. Uh, here I'm calling you some, you know, uh, shin bones and thighs and such. Uh, nothing too serious. I think I'm going around with a slightly darker color and just adding some warmth, warmth into the feet. 
which is very important. Remember to keep that warm feeling to to your skin. Uh, obviously, the skin has a mixture of warm and co uh, dark, warm and cold colors, and uh, I think my ZBrush crashed here or something. That's the um, lovely thing about having increments. Now I don't have to fret about having it crash. Uh, but yeah, loading it back in, uh, here I also, also have to uh, set some material changes, I think I actually save these out later on. Uh, so this might look a bit weird at first, but yeah. So what I'm going to do here now is, um, again, play around with materials. It's uh, one, of the things I, one of the things I really spend a lot of time on in this dodge, uh, getting the right material down, it's quite important. Um, just you know to make the look of it complete you can also also if you want render it out later on but yeah here i'm going in and i'm not sure what i'm doing uh going in with some kind of yeah do what i did before basically just adding a bit more color into it a bit more um just differentiating the skin uh giving it some individual details of the feet here as you can see the speckly look of the uh color spray brush really does add a lot of skin like uh, texture to the Poly paint and it's really nice. Uh, I, I'm probably going to go in and define the toes, uh, toenails. Yeah, uh, I didn't really spend a lot of time sculpting toenails, so really what I'm doing here, I'm just doing some simple highlights, and uh, you know this is just very very simple. Uh, nothing too serious. I just wanted, I just wanted something on those toenails because it would be silly not to have anything on them. Uh, so you can see what I'm doing here, nothing too serious, but just enough to uh, raise attention. And he's going to wear sandals anyway, so the feet really aren't the biggest problem um, for me. I spend more time on the upper body and such. Here I think I'm saving or something, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, going in with a very warm color here, a slightly reddish tone actually. And uh, refining some areas, uh, because I thought the skin at this point probably was a bit pale. and uh, Which it was, to be fair it was. Um, just going with some darker, warmish colors and, uh, you know, turning up. As you can see, I really like that lower back area there uh, for those kind of radiating folds or what are radiating uh, strokes, I guess. I'm just hiding the hand here because I want to I want to paint that on it. If you don't know how to do that, uh, you should know it, but uh, control shift and drag in the viewport and then uh, uh, release uh, control, I think it is. Uh, just play, with, uh, play around with it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure because I don't remember. It's just uh, things like those things, uh, keystrokes, macros, they kind of come naturally to you after a while. Uh, so right about halfway point of the first part here. Uh, so, what we have here is just going in with some more highlights, uh, which I don't think quite work, but it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, one of the fun things here, I don't have a concept to work off of, as you may see uh, later on. Uh, I just do this by head, and I, I, I'm having a lot of fun poly painting this model, and that's one of the good things about not having a strict pipeline or a strict plan for your, your character. You can just pull it every way you want. You can just Polypaint it. If you think one part looks wrong and you didn't plan, you really planned one part to look like that, but then you realize it looks wrong, uh, you can easily change that. Now I'm going in and coloring the uh, nipples, which I th figure should have some color, but yeah, you can see that <laughs> I was too close and I made them giant, and now he looks like he has very odd nipples, but yeah, I ended up just slightly coloring that. Uh, going in with a um, you know, slightly darkish brush, I guess, and adding some warmth again. A lot of warmth added here. Um, so, I mean, also, here there's some darkness uh, beneath the uh, helmet, I think. Yeah, because I figured, I mean, he, yeah, I can see that uh, kind of bruised skin look. Uh, it, it's, I mean, I figured the helmet would be kind of cutting into his flesh and uh, creating that kind of bruised look, and I, I kind of like that. It looked a bit more brutal to me, or, or whatever you, you'd like. Um, going in and refining areas again, I mean, this is a lot of the skin process uh, here. Uh, just refining skin areas, and as you can see, it doesn't look perfect just yet, but I mean, it, it, it's going there, it's progressing. Um, I mean, it's not looking, it's not going to look perfect by the end either, but yeah. Here I'm just checking it with different materials and such, just, you know, for fun. And, um, let's see here, what I'm doing here. Yeah, I'm trying out some, um, I'm going to try doing some body paint on this thing, some sort of tattoos. Uh, this, you'll see me do a lot of, uh, in the video. I, I'm, I'm going to try and, you know, do a lot of body paint stuff. Uh, uh, sorry for that cat right there, I had to fix a few things. But yeah, as you can see here, I'm just really roughly trying to make some body paint, some tattoos. 
uh, which is something you'll see me do a lot in this video series, uh, and uh, it it and it ends up not coming, uh, you know, to its full potential. I guess it doesn't fit this character. Uh, try to make it sort of if you played God of War that kind of Kratos. Uh, you know, Ghost of Spartan look, but it didn't quite work for this guy, he's a bit too big for that, I think, he doesn't fit it, um, I, I, I did like the look of the red, uh, I'm, all I'm doing here, if you want to know, I chose a freehand brush, and I just chose a kind of darkish red color, and I'm going in with the, um, low intensity on my RGB side, and here I'm just refining some edges with a darker color to make it look like it's really tattooed in, because I thought I would keep that look, uh, but then, and I'm not... So we're going. Uh, we're ending up being at the end of the tour, the first part here. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part uh, for continuation of the series.